Instagram, but um, for them, but I think nowadays it's, you know, stories and Instagram, that's, it's huge. It's, it would be remiss to not have it. So yeah, know, they all have it. I think that so, but I, and, and if there's some, if there's a place where they, where they enjoy being and they enjoy focusing on, then certainly we want to go with that as well. Yeah. But I think that, you know, if, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're you know, the media world, I think 80% of journalists use Twitter as a virtual water cooler. It's where they hang out. You know? yeah. so. <laughs> Good. Is there, so are there, are with that, are there like books or articles you recommend that help, uh, the authors get better at Twitter because I know it's it's a skill as anything anything else. Is, is, there, is there like are certain types of things they can read or videos to watch that help them go from you know wherever they are to just getting more proficient at it? I have never. I'm sure there are plenty. I'm sure yeah. there are tons. So I'm sure there's that baseline Twitter 101 that an author. And then honestly, I think with any platform, you know, the, the advice I've always given and the approach I've always taken is just do way more listening than talking, mm-hmm. you know, go in and just don't, don't know. And I've always said that when people start Twitter, I'm like, don't post anything for a few weeks, mm-hmm. just look around and listen and just see what's happening as opposed to jumping in and talking. Sure. So I think that's, you know, that, that, that's always been a key for social media. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> right. Yeah. And because some, so much of Twitter as well is, you know, I think as far as the social platforms, there's, you know, there's certain things that you do, know, you, you don't need, you know, you know, politics is red hot on Twitter. You right. know, um, you know, media is red hot on Twitter, but that doesn't mean that you have to jump into that fray. If that isn't your book, if that isn't your platform, if that isn't where you want to be, then that's right. where having some thought and some strategy and doing some listening and thinking before jumping in because where you know it, you're spending a ton of time doing something that isn't really benefiting anything you're working on. <laughs> so <laughs> that. Right, right, right. So yeah, our right, distractible so, world. <laughs> can you talk a little bit more about, so you talk about the, you know, the actual book launch. So is that, so I know it's probably different for every kind of author, but is, is that like a physical event? Is it like a virtual event? What's, what have you worked with and what do you recommend? Okay. Well, it, and it's changed. So what you said, the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so is it a physical event? It's always fun to have a physical event. Yeah. yeah. And I think that this, you know, and this is, can be, this is different things for some. It's an, you know, it can be a book signing at a bookstore for some, it's a huge barbecue at their house with the country Western band and 300 people. And yeah, you know, I mean, and all kinds of, you know, and everybody in the book and their families. So, you know, and they're, you know, so I think that, you, so yes, but I think, um, it can be a physical event. It can be, you know, you know co-hosted you know, with like a corporate event for a business mm-hmm. book. Can it be a virtual event? Absolutely. And can it just be an ongoing event? You know, you can, in this day and age, I think so much, it, it's not so much the launch. It's mm-hmm. as, as an individual event, as it is the launch, as this, your book is now out there in the world. It's like this okay. birth. Your, you, your, your book is out there yeah. and it's not, you know, in your launch event, maybe, you know, two hours or three hours or half an hour, or, but at the end of that, your book is still out there. And that's when a lot of the work begins. And I think for a lot of authors, they spend so much time writing their book. You know, it's mm-hmm. hard work and it's, you get, and so you, you get this book created and, and the, it's harder to hear, Hey, you're not done. You're actually just beginning mm-hmm. because we live in this incredibly you know, fragmented media world where it, it's harder, to, it's easier and harder. It's easier to get the book out, but it's harder to get the word out about the book. Right. If that makes sense. So I think yes. that, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it was much harder to get a book to market. But once you're out there, there were, there were, there were so many, few, there were fewer channels. There were fewer ways to like, to kind of like, just get, get through that tunnel and get to your audience. But mm-hmm. now there are so many and it's so, and this is the, on the plus side, it also means that you can, it used to be that you, when you launched a book, you had like six months to a year to market your book. Mm-hmm. Well, now you have years and years to market your book because it's so fragmented that nobody really knows what's new and what's not most of the time. <laughs> so, right. yeah, or what's self-published or not self-published or vanity press published. And there used to be so many more like stratifications about, 
oh, you're, you're self-published or, oh, yeah, you're this. And now it's just, you have a book, great. And, but is, and which also gives you more room for trial and error. Mm -hmm. Because I think that, you know, an author can launch a book and go, go at it a certain way that he or she was very you know, firmly believed in was the way to do it. And then maybe, you know, six months or a year later, they're like, why don't I try this and do something a little bit different with the same book? And it mm -hmm. did not used to be like that. So, so in a way, it's both harder and easier to launch a book in today's market. Yeah. Could you go a little bit about some of the strategies you use for Amazon versus what you use, let's say, like in a traditional print book store type of strategy? Mm -hmm. Sure. And the, uh, this has morphed over the years as well, because yeah. even you know, four years ago, ha being huge, you know, it was not as so. I mean, in, in my point of view, Amazon, it's an awful lot like Google. Okay. Every, every author has to have a big Amazon play. It doesn't matter if you only publish on Amazon, whether you do or not. You know, I mean, yeah. Amazon is obviously you know, the 800 pound gorilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and whereas maybe 10 years ago, the 800 pound gorilla was Facebook, but for books, obviously it's Amazon. And there, you know, the nice thing is it's fairly straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a fairly, yeah, it's a fairly straightforward place to play. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, I think, you know, having an author have a book become an Amazon bestseller is a fairly straightforward play. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's not too complicated. It's, it's, a, you know, it's, it's a fairly standard deliverable that most publishing houses and most publicists I think can deliver on. I certainly can. Yeah. So, um, and I, and I think knowing, you know, the, having the resources for, um, you know, for, to do that is, is important, but I think that is absolutely just, you know, table stakes right now. Sure. So, is, is that, I mean, so is that just, I guess, beyond picking a, a category, is there, are there like there's SEO keywords and what kind of goes a little bit well, they're all together. The, yeah. The category pick is big and the research is big. So yeah. I think that is definitely which categories you know, give you the most opportunity mm -hmm. to become a bestseller in is, is that huge. Okay. Um, and then there's also, it's, you know, Amazon is a great place to advertise. You know, so it is, you can advertise your book with keywords. You can also just do the promoted product, but yes, I mean, I think that is, you know, and, you, and you can also, you know, basically, you know, you got a good old Facebook, you know, you can put yeah. your Amazon like on Facebook and <laughs> Facebook certainly takes their, you know, <laughs> you know they have their affiliate link, but right. you can, you know, push a bunch of traffic to your page to Facebook. So, I mean, there's so many different tactics mm -hmm. um, that are wrapped up in that. So that's the, that's the quick overview. And I think reauthor to do that, you yeah. know, whether, but in terms of, yeah, you want to do it well and you want to do it right in terms of, you know, but that, and that's the digital marketing piece. Sure. You know, so that is, that is absolutely true. And I think that has replaced, you know, when, when authors come to me and they're like, well, somebody told me I should use Google AdWords. I'm like, for a book? You know, like if you're on Amazon, you're probably looking for a book, you know, if you're right. in the book section of Amazon. So, you know, it's, it's so doing that in, in the Amazon world is probably you know, more worthwhile than doing it in the Google world. Okay. Um, you know, so just in terms of, because, you know, but at the same time, I think that's, that's one piece of the puzzle Mm -hmm. Um, and I think, you know, so digital marketing is, you know, but I think there's, you know, digital marketing is a piece of the puzzle, PR, digital PR, your know, word of mouth events, you know, social media, you know, those mm -hmm. are all different components that kind of come together. Yeah. Very interesting. Cool. So I, I know we only have a few more minutes left. I was curious on, so of everything that you've, you've done and experienced so far, what is the, the best advice you would give to uh, an author who is just starting off right now and is like, I, you know, I'm, I've already written this book, I have an idea, but I want to make it, it as best as it can. It's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And to, and to really, really, you know, I think that that's so much of the book launch is, well, it's like a product launch. Yeah. yeah it's you put something out in the world, you um, learn, you take your learnings, you optimize based on what you're learning, those earnings are, and then you measure it and you keep doing that. And that's so much of, of a book launch. And I think that a lot of it is, you know, in the product launch world, it's much more, um, you know, that that process is probably a little more manicured, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, at the same time, but I think it's, and it's probably more intuitive for an author, but that is the process. Yeah. Okay. That is absolutely the process of the book launch journey. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. So Sarah, this has been absolutely fantastic. If the listeners would like to see more about what you're working on or get a hold of you, where is the best place they can go to do that? I am on Twitter and Instagram as SWBizcom, B-I-Z-C-O-M, and they can 
check out my website at popcommunications.io um, or email me at sarah, S-A-R-A-H, at popcommunications.io. Excellent. Well, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much for having me on, Yuri. Of course. It was my pleasure. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Advance Your Art Podcast. If you like this episode, please go into iTunes and give us a five-star rating. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button so that every single time I release a new episode, it will go directly to you without even thinking about it. If you're interested in hearing older episodes, please go to AdvanceYourArt.com where you can find the catalog of everything I've done so far, as well as contact information and projects I'm working on. Thank you again, and have a great day.